Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about the Drawing Script Downloader MSR Detection. You can see the detection popping up for no obvious reason affecting seemingly innocent files. The detection itself is used to flag a dangerous virus, specifically a loader for malicious programs, but it may also be just a false positive detection. In this video, I will explain the dangers of this malware, whether it can be false positive and how to remove it. So, to begin with, let's find out exactly what this detection means. As I've just said, Trian Script Downloader MSR is a detection of a malicious script that acts as a loader for malicious programs. Typically, this script is based on PowerShell or Common Troll. And all it does is connects to a server controlled by hackers, downloads the malware and runs it. So, it is not a straight-up malware, but an infectious agent. The types of malware that the TriNscript downloader MSR can bring vary wildly, but typically such scripts are used to deliver spyware, backdoors and ransomware. Some of the samples in the past deployed a particular nasty thing known as SNCRAD, which is a remote access trine. Its name is pretty self-explanatory, it is a tool that cybercriminals can use to assess your system without your consent and deploy malware or steal certain files afterwards. But where did it come from? There are quite a few ways for malicious scripts to get into your system. Most common are cracked games, game modes or cheat engines that one can get on shady websites. Another category of the apps to blame is sketchy activators that allegedly allow activating windows or generate license keys to some other paid software, but in fact serve as a shell for the malicious script. One more thing to address here is the possibility of a false positive. You see, this detection belongs to a heuristic system of Microsoft Defender. This MSR part at the end indicates exactly this. And while being effective in detecting malicious programs proactively, it can sometimes start detecting legit things as malicious, simply because something went wrong in its detection algorithm. In the case of TriNscript Downloader MSR, the program may have some networking done through the aforementioned PowerShell or Common Prompt, but the Defender failed to confirm this action were safe, and thus displayed this detection. Nonetheless, detecting the false positive manually may be problematic. Considering that in quite a few cases users say about a genuine PowerShell executable file being shown as affected, it is hard to understand which exact program has used the console. And that is the exact reason why I recommend performing a second opinion scan with Gradient Soft and Time Malware. It will clearly show you whether there is any malware in your system or not and also remove the threats if ones are present. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan to check the entire system, including hidden folders, registry, system configuration files, and so on. This should take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Now to remove the detected malicious files. If nothing shows up, well, you have probably seen a false positive detection, so you should not be worrying about anything. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.